Hello, welcome to Intelligent Software. Shane McCusker here, going to show you a quick demonstration of some of our tools for working with LinkedIn straight from Intelligence. I'm on the candidate screen in Intelligence. I'm just going to open up the tool directly from the menu. That's it opening up now. This tool does two things. One, it will allow you to import a single profile of somebody you're looking on on LinkedIn, or alternatively, you can also import in bulk. And the way you do that is you do an x-ray search of LinkedIn uh, simply by typing in what you're looking for. In this case, I'm looking for a Java person. Say I'm looking for somebody in Ireland. It's a three-step process. Step number one opens up Internet Explorer, puts an x-ray search in, and gives you the results. And there we go. I've got Internet Explorer set only to give me, or Google set only to give me 10 results here. And there you can see them. But you can have as many results as you want. Step number two, simply press the button. It pulls in all the profiles straight into the tool. Uh, you can move on to page two on the results, or indeed you can set your results to give 100 results. And you can pull in as many as you want. I've pulled in thousands of people like this. Um, it takes a little bit of time to step through all the processes, but it's easily doable. Okay, for this demonstration, I don't need to have 20 or 30 people to pull in, so I'm just going to delete a few of these, and then we'll only work with the first four or so. Step number three. Press the button, see what happens. It opens up another browser. It moves to the public profile for the individual. From the public profile, it moves to the full profile because we tend to get more information there. It logs on as me. I'm connected to this person, thankfully, in some way, shape, or form. It pulls in all their details. And back to intelligence, and as you can see, I'm straight over to John Corrigan's record. It's pulled in his photograph. It's pulled in all his details. I don't have email addresses or mobiles for this because this individual didn't have that on his uh, web uh, LinkedIn profile. I've got employment, I've got education, I've also got all the references and that's really important because intelligence cross-references those leads into the company in which they work. Here's another candidate, uh, again no contact details, uh, we've got their, their LinkedIn profile, again references and so it moves on. Okay, uh, the other thing you can do is um, if for example I come across a LinkedIn profile I want to pull in. In this case, I'm just going to do a LinkedIn search, find somebody, here's uh, Shane O'Hagan. Uh, all I do is move over to the importer, the button on the toolbar at the top, uh, press this button, it just pulls in the one profile. So here we go, here's Shane, lo and behold, I've got contact details from now, I've got references, I've got education, and that's about it. It's a really simple way to deal with candidates very quickly. If they're on LinkedIn, you can pull their information straight in, got contact information, you can deal with them very effectively um, and the, the reference cross-reference thing just works superbly for you.